do your kids have too many toys? I know that our kids have too many toys and it is starting to cause problems on the daily. So today at the farmhouse, I am going to show you how I am going to purge through these toys and weed it down just to a few key toys so that we can hopefully have less problems, make cleanup time easier, and make cleanup time not a fight because I'm tired of fighting them on cleaning up. <laughs> Hi, and welcome back to the farmhouse. I'm Deanne from Hummingbird Acres. This is our place to share our homesteading adventures with you guys, gardening, from scratch cooking, natural living, and just family fun. Today's episode might not be much fun, especially when the kids find out that most of their toys are gone, but this is going to save my sanity and hopefully encourage the kids to have more imagination and play more together. <laughs> so one of our goals for 2022 is really to start to really simplify our life. Now we've done a lot of simplifying when it comes to our cooking and the things that we do on a daily and a weekly basis, but we really haven't tackled much of our stuff when it comes to simplifying. And the first thing I'm gonna tackle this year or the thing I'm going to tackle today is the kids' toys. And I'm doing this for a couple of different reasons. The kids have a lot of toys, you can see. I am a former elementary school teacher. I was a kindergarten teacher. So I had a lot of toys in my classroom that came home with me. We also ran an in-home daycare for two years. So we had lots of toys from that. And then we have parents and grandparents that are just always blessing our children with more toys. But we have come to the point where we have too much and instead of playing with the toys, they just dump them on the ground and walk away. Then when it comes time to clean up said toys, it is a two hour fight and it is not fun for me. It's not fun for them. I end up very frustrated by the end and they just end up mad and sad and crying. So in order to help with that problem, I am going to minimalize all the toys down, keep just a few key toys, and then we are going to either donate the rest of them, we will either donate them to Goodwill, or the boys preschool is always looking for new toys so I can donate them there as well. Some of my teaching stuff, I still have lots of teacher friends, so I will probably donate that stuff to them back to the school, but hopefully this is going to help. Now, another one of my goals with this is to really encourage creativity with my kids. They have a lot of creativity, but a lot of it's shown just through coloring and art. And I really wanna see more of that imaginary play. So I'm going to only keep toys that are going to encourage that imaginary play. Now I have already done this with all of the toys the kids had upstairs. I purged that down to, I think just puzzles, a train set and Legos. And we've been doing just those toys for about a week now. And it is amazing just how much calmer our house is. And I'm not yelling at them to clean up. So I'm hoping by doing this in the basement, which is their play area, we're going to have the same effect. Now, I do know that they will get tired of the toys after a while. So my plan is to rotate the toys between upstairs and downstairs. Really just keeping the toys upstairs to a minimal though, so that the mess isn't huge. Okay, so let's jump into my criteria for keeping these toys. So a little bit more of my criteria. Anything that is broken or doesn't work anymore or isn't age appropriate is going, okay? And anything that is age appropriate and still works will kind of go in my, hmm, do we keep, do we not keep pile? So let's get started on purging these toys and hopefully simplifying our playtime. I should also mention that I am doing this at nap time so that they are not here to peer over my shoulder 
and be like, no, 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 don't get rid of that. So if you are going to do this, nap time is probably your best time to do it. Or send them to grandma or grandpa's for the day and take care of it in a day. to purging some of this stuff out of here. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get it all done today, but I got a lot done, super excited. Now I just gotta arrange to get it all donated. So thanks so much for hanging out with me at the farmhouse today. If you liked this video or found it inspirational and now you want to start purging and cleaning out, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more of our farmhouse homesteading adventures, Make sure you hit subscribe and that notification bell so you can be notified the next time that I upload a new video. Thanks so much and we'll talk to you guys soon.